Hello there and welcome. My name is uh, Tom and welcome to my channel, Self Build Camper Van. Now I've just recently bought a 14 year old Mercedes Benz Vito van, 2.2 turbo diesel and is in immaculate condition. Absolutely no problem at all with, with rust. It's a, it's a five seater dual liner. So a uh, dual purpose vehicle, it's uh, classed as, as a light goods vehicle. Now two sliding doors, one on each side and two back doors. Blacked out windows on the sides and, is, and the same uh, on, the, on the two, uh, two back doors. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, step outside and uh, show you around the vehicle and uh, show, you, uh, sh show you around, around the inside. Picked it up uh, last week and um, I've been down to Weymouth and back to do a, do a collection and um, you can see I live in, live in Somerset and um, went up to Walsall uh, last night and um, picked up a custom built uh, bed frame that uh, I've, I've had made. But uh, I'll show you, that, uh, show you that in the back of the van uh, in a minute. Absolute immaculate condition the van and uh, we'll take you uh, underneath the bonnet as well. Take you uh, round the van now. It's the passenger side. Apologies for any wind's noise. We're parked up on top of the Quantock Hills in Somerset. Absolutely beautiful day today. It's the front of the van. The driver's side. 2.2 litre turbo diesel, 110 brake horse. So the double doors uh, on the on the back of the van. Only fault I can pick with it is that uh, little plastic cover that's missing off of the hinge. Show you inside the van. Two captain seats. All fully adjustable. The passenger seat does not swivel. Storage there. You, uh, the driver's side. And we'll go round to the back and we'll open the back doors. Uh, the back of the van and uh, there's a bed frame I picked up uh, last night a right, little bit of rust there on the wheel arch and a uh, little bit down there shouldn't be a problem to uh, take care of now the three uh, three seats in the back they're gonna uh, they're gonna come out the van and uh, We'll probably um, probably put them up for sale. Now the van is going to be uh, insulated, boarded out, carpeted, and uh, all done out, looking nice. Hopefully, going to get this project done by uh, somewhere around uh, middle of March, as I'll be um, hoping to go uh, go away from before my birthday. Now I'm just going to um, pause this a minute, and uh, when we return. We'll uh, show you uh, underneath the bonnet. Under, underneath the bonnet. Very, very, very clean. Air filter in there. Pretty sure. That's one down there is possibly the oil filter. Brake fluid in that one. 
fill up with uh, oil in that one. That one there is the relay for the glow plugs. Glow plugs if you need to get to them. It's just a case of uh, taking, uh, taking this hose off, taking uh, this cover off here and uh, quite simple to access. Dipstick there. But uh, seems to be in uh, fairly, fairly good condition for its age. Now we'll just uh, start the engine up. Starts no problem at all. Engine sounds uh, quite sweet. Now, I have fitted a reversing camera. Paid about forty pounds for it on on Amazon. Now that monitor there is uh, it's a monitor for uh, for the reversing camera. Now the reversing camera I have uh, fitted underneath of the rear bumper. I will show you that in a minute. If I put it into reverse gear, the monitor lights up and uh, that is uh, what's behind us. The green lines, that is roughly three foot. The yellow lines is, um, is two foot and the red line is, uh, is one foot. Uh, I have measured it with a tape measure and um, yeah, I'm very very impressed with the camera so far and the quality of it in, uh, in darkness is absolutely amazing. I'll just, uh, just whip out and uh, show you that a minute. And that's the reversing camera underneath, uh, underneath the rear bumper. Right, power supply for this one. The starter battery is underneath of the passenger seat. Now, this is wireless, so um, for the camera it needed one power supply. So what I did was I took the rear right hand side light cluster off and uh, I wired the positive up to the cable that went to the reversing lamp so it was only live when in reverse gear and uh, the negative straight to the chassis with uh, all the other uh, wires from the lights very very simple and left the transmitter in uh, hidden hidden in the back in behind the light cluster now for the monitor that needed two power supplies one power supply for the monitor, one power supply for the receiver. Cables I have uh, hidden and cable tied underneath the dash. Power supply I have uh, run a cable underneath uh, the floor trim and underneath the seat and uh, fitted an in a single fuse holder and wired that up to the battery. The negative I have run to the chassis. Uh, the monitor only switches on when the camera becomes live and sends a signal to the, to the receiver. Very, very simple to fit and uh, only took about, uh, about an hour, hour and a half, uh, hour and a half tops to fit. So that is the camera fitted. But the only other thing I have fitted in the van so far is a 140 amp hour split charge voltage sensitive relay. Now I am a licensed uh, radio uh, amateur and uh, I do use a citizen's band so uh, it's needed power to uh, run the batteries without the engine running. Now I've taken a positive supply from, from the starter battery underneath the passenger seat which runs to a fuse in the back of the van from the fuse to the relay, the relay to a fuse, fuse to uh, the leisure battery. Now from the negative terminal on the battery I have run a meter of cable which runs to uh, the back right hand corner of the driver's seat where I have uh, grounded uh, the battery uh, there to uh, complete the connection. Now, I do have a 100 watt solar panel to uh, go on the roof. Received that yesterday, but um, bought as a kit and uh, 
charge controller is not turned up and all of the cable is not turned up so um, won't be fitting that at the moment but so that be, be before it gets insulated four plastic corners and we'll be looking at uh, gluing it uh, to the roof of the van I have been suggested uh, Gorilla Glue if, um, if anybody else has uh, any uh, good uh, any other good ideas uh, please uh, please drop a comment in in the comments at the bottom much appreciated but uh, we'll show you the spit charge uh, uh, another time uh, so it's only uh, only temporary at the moment to uh, run a couple of radios until it's uh, until it's more but more permanent I'm gonna say uh, thanks for watching please uh, subscribe like and share and uh, this will be continued uh, for uh, throughout the build thanks very much